Ask Sister Time, babies. And I am actually going to talk about how do I feel about the phrase Love is love. Personally, as a sister, I think there has been benefits to it, but I feel it is a phrase that I don't really agree with. And actually, I feel it is time for people to stop using the phrase love is love. It did have its place in time where love is love was being used as a way to talk about marriage equality for the queer community. However, to me, part of that feels like it allows cis straight people to ignore the uncomfortable truths that queer rights don't begin with and they definitely don't end with marriage equality. We need to be more nuanced in what we're asking for and not just allowing people to think well, we did that thing, what more do you want? So although I do see a positive in what Love and love is Love did in terms of really pushing forward the marriage equality and trying to make that a real mainstream conversation, I do feel it served its purpose and it leaned too hard in terms of fitting in and assimilating to the cishet normative. I also feel that love is love is now become sort of a platitude. It feels like it's a, a way to say, oh I support the queers but I'm still going to be a company that donates to right-wing extremist groups. And so I feel that love is love is actually a bit more of a, a pink washing uh, than it ever intended to be. Yes, love is love but there are much more nuanced ways of arguing that we still need queer liberation and not solely focusing on the one topic. It is now time to shelf it. Now we're fighting for the fact that trans women are women and that trans rights are human rights. And I think there needs to be a push for a more inclusive and a broader interpretation of what the queer community is seeking. I think queer liberation is key and I think Maybe there needs to be different slogans rather than just relying on the one slogan which has served its purpose. I don't want any more love is love. I want queer liberation for everyone on the LGBTQ plus spectrum.